Hey guys, what's going on? It's Louis Louis here, and I'm back with my fourth VOD review. Today I have a match sent to me from Ryan Day, uh, the player in the green shirt, against one of his friends at his club. Um, so same format as my other VOD reviews, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the match, um, give some insight, see what can be improved on, what you're doing well. Um, and yeah, just give my overall thoughts. I'll try to make as many comments as I can. Uh, throughout the points and then I'll give my overall comments at the end of the match. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started Ooh, So right off the bat Make sure that you're not moving back as you make contact with the ball um, especially when you're blocking so Not a bad return you forced the slow loop the spinny slow loop with your half long ball and his loop lands quite shallow. Here you're in a decent spot, you're on your toes, paddles close to the body, and then as you make contact, you end up on your heels, getting pushed away from the table, um, even though the loop's shallow, and you end up with that horrible feeling of like reaching for the ball and feeling way out in front of your um, body, and everyone's had that feeling before. It's super uncomfortable. Um, you wanna make sure you contact the ball and then extend your arm. There it looked like you extended your arm and then made contact. And you can see you're like all the way out here reaching for a ball that's not that um, deep and that's because you moved a little bit too far back. Um, yeah, let's keep going. That was a no spin surf. You read it as heavy underspin, um, which is why it popped up. So on that, if you want to push it, make sure you really um, push it instead of just tapping the ball or um, flip it because it's like you don't really need too much power to get that over the net. Um, this video is um, pretty cut so I'll probably be pausing and playing a lot. I like what I'm seeing on the serve and serve returns. A lot of your pushes are low to the net, forcing these slow spinny loops which gets you into the rally. And your serves as well are high quality, um, giving you a chance to either attack or basically play what you want. Oh, um, right there you were hard cheating forehand after your serve. So you served and even here you don't realize that this ball is to your back end yet. And so by the time you um, see it, it's too late. Make sure after your serve, you're ready to loop on either side, not just your forehand. Because even if you land your backhand from this position, the best you're going to be able to do is a weak block. And you're just going to give all the control of the point to your opponent. So really make sure you're ready to loop on either side. Don't cheat forehand. And if you do cheat forehand and you want to loop, then you need to make sure you have the footwork to loop if the ball comes to the corner here or if it comes to the forehand here. But the last thing you want to do is what happens here where you're thinking forehand. And then right at the last second, you're like, oh my god, emergency. And you switch to your back. And I know he missed there, but if that shot lands, it's going to be uncomfortable for you. Careful on that placement. I know, again, he missed, but that flip was right to the middle of the table. And you gave your opponent pretty much every angle on the planet. Um, when you're flipping, make sure it's with purpose. Um, generally, it's to stay aggressive in the point, so keep it in the corner. Stay close and be ready to keep looping. Don't just tap it to the middle because then that kind of defeats the purpose of the flip. Good surf still. Yeah, they're spinny, high quality. Really, really good surfs. Nice. Good combination. Ah, make sure... Um... Once you start counter looping on your forehand, you're ready to keep going. So you um, counter loop this first ball, and then you're already thinking backhand and getting ready to drag your backhand to the forehand side of the table. Um, anytime you have to go a little bit wide to counter loop with your forehand, come back and be ready to keep going. Um, especially against good players, one counter loop is not going to win the point. You have to hit two, three, four of those with high quality. Ah, there again, that needs to be a forehand. Do you have time to come back? Nice, good spin. 
very deep on the table. Uh, yeah, that's the first game. Uh, not too many other comments aside from what I already mentioned. Uh, very good serves, good serve receive. Um, careful that you're not cheating your um, forehand though. Um, when you are getting ready to hit your opponent's return, you should know where they're going before they even make contact with the ball. Right now, it looks like you're figuring out where the ball is while it's like crossing the net coming to you. And by that time, it's already too late unless you just guess correctly. You need to know where the ball's going at the latest as it's on their paddle. Um, any later than that, and you're just going to be caught guessing in kind of in uncomfortable situations. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the second game. A little bit too far back on the block there. Um, I've seen that a couple times now. Make sure you're not reaching for the ball and then making contact. Make contact first and then extend your arm. And you'll find that the shot is going to be a lot more stable. And again, also be careful that you're not being pushed too far back away from the table. Serve returns popping up a little bit more. Um, you can flip that serve. It's very flippable. There. Um, really quickly also make sure after you play a forehand here this ball if it lands is going to come back high to the corner and it looks like you're setting up to play a backhand if this shot lands after you play a wide forehand you want to make sure you come back and you're ready to just keep playing your forehand and you're not the only person i've seen this from there's been a few players i've done these vod reviews for and a lot of um a lot of players tend to play this first forehand and then just drag the back end over to the corner instead of coming back and getting ready to keep going. So just be aware of that. That's a much better block, by the way. It looks like there's, you won the point. Um, that serve is so loopable. It's coming so long, and I think you recognized that it was long, and then you just didn't make your mind up. But yeah, 100%, you, you can be aggressive on that serve return and loop that. Cool, very good surf. Um, you should be using that backhand surf more. It's your shortest surf that I've seen so far. Yeah, almost salvaged that point, but um, that surf return, that initial surf return, should have been a backhand, and instead you were basically playing your forehand when the ball was right here. If you're going to play your forehand there, you need to make sure you're moving your feet. Don't just break your wrist and stick your arm there because you're going to lose all your feeling. And then you're going to end up popping up the ball, like you did there. Oh, and right there, that's the perfect example of why you don't want to play shallow to the middle of the table. Um, your shot kind of lands right where you don't want it to land. And from here, you give your opponent all the angles. So you have to stay on your back end because you can go there. And instead, he plays the super extreme angle really wide. And there's just no way anybody can get to that ball. Good serve. Nice. Ah, a little bit rushed, forced on that serve return. That flip is so slow and so high that you don't have to block it. He flipped that pretty low quality. And from where you were, you could have counter looped it, but you're on your heels. Um, if you're on your toes and staying close to the table, you'll have a very easy time going through that ball but because you're on your heels you're off balance you're being pushed away from the table and so you get caught by the spin of the flip <clears throat> ah uh, so it looks like that was the game so you made like three three or four errors on the surf return especially at the end of the game make sure you're staying really low on those um and if it's light not too heavy then use a little bit more arm go through the ball when you're pushing it and then if it's heavy you can touch it a little bit more but yeah just make sure you're watching um sometimes those are also coming long so there's nothing wrong with going for the loop yeah just a couple too many errors on serve return yeah there again just weak serve return that's a lot better um your first return was good and then for some reason you backed up um and you didn't need to back up there you flipped 
um, or you looped, which puts you in the aggressive situation. So you want to stay close and keep your opponent under that time pressure, but instead you're drifting back away from the table. Uh, on that loop, you need to be way, way closer to the table. You should be crowding the table on that loop. But because you're so far back, it again becomes this like uncomfortable shot where you've already fully extended your arm after um, as you make contact, and it's just an uncomfortable shot. If you're like a few feet in, your, your left leg should pretty much be under the table on this shot. Um, it'll be much higher quality. Not bad. It's a good attempt at a combination there. Same thing there. There's no reason to be going back on that backhand loop. And even there, your return was high and your opponent looped it, but the loop is so shallow that you can be um, staying closer and playing higher quality shots. Nice footwork. Uh, um, you got to that ball really well that's exactly how if you are going to cheat forehand that's exactly how you want to do it um be prepared to cover both corners here you were just waiting a little bit too long and instead of coming in you want to take that ball from way back here even though it's a shallow block and again you're like off balance reaching and it's just uncomfortable you want to crash in um to that shallow ball and play a little bit more aggressive nice good serve attack with third ball Yeah, most of your surf receives, um, I'm actually really impressed by. They're all pretty high quality. And they get you into the rallies, they get you into these counter loop rallies. Nice punch. That's how you want to um, play that back and aggressively. So when you, I don't know if I mentioned it already. When you're playing your back end, an aggressive back end doesn't necessarily have to be a loop. That can also be a punch. Um, and it has a pretty similar effect. So if you're more comfortable punching than looping, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and it's very, very popular shot, especially among the higher level players. Right idea. That's a good miss. Nothing wrong with that. Nice. Touch was a little bit high, but placement was good and you knew exactly where he was going with that flip. Nice. Nice. Those are high quality points. A little bit too far back on that loop there. Nice. That's good. Too many pushes in a row there. Even against the serve, you could have um, just flipped that. It's top side. But instead you push it, it pops up. And then you're in this like awkward, uncomfortable rally. And when you're pushing, you're so far away from the table that when it comes a little bit longer, you're in... You're not in a position to loop and you have to keep pushing like there that back end is coming out the side of the table if you're closer you probably have an angle to loop that around the net or just cross court but instead you're almost playing like a chopper um just fishing for these balls and that's not going to work out well nice good good decision to play to the middle on that forehand loop good serve Good sort of placement. I like your sort of variation. Uh, and again on the back end loop, you're almost on your heels as you're playing that shot. Um, stay close. You don't need to be going back as you're playing aggressive. That kind of defeats the purpose of it and lets your opponent back into the point. Uh, that ball's got to be looped. You got away with it though. Careful that you're not coming across your body as you play those kind of um, stronger forehand loops. I know it's so tempting, but look where your paddle finished there. You lose all your top spin and all your control on that shot. You want to make sure you're finishing even on the fade, just a little bit higher, so that shot stays stable. Better recognition on the back end serve, but you can play that flip way more powerful. Yeah, or punch it. You can punch that serve as well. Nice rally. Way to salvage the point. And yeah, it looks like we're in the last game now. Um, pretty much said everything I want to say for that game. Um, 
really, really good rallies, actually. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, every time you pop up those serves, um, another good rally. But you're breaking your wrist just a little bit too much. And again, you're fully extended before you've hit the ball and you're too far back. This right leg, when you're coming in to push a short ball, should be way under the table and you shouldn't be hesitating. Um, here, this ball actually might even be coming long. You look at it again. Oh, no, it's like half long. Maybe, maybe that comes short. Yeah, just breaking the wrist a little bit too much and still a little bit too far back. That's a better return. And a better loop, you stay closer. Just a little bit mistake on the forehead. Nice. Yeah, you're getting a lot of opportunities to attack with your serve. Really, really strong serves. And most of your third balls are very strong as well. Really need to work on that serve return in the short game though. And just staying closer. Great idea. That's a good miss. Good serve variation, a little bit bouncy, but still it did the job. Yeah, no quality on the loop, which is why he was able to counter loop so easily. Yeah, yeah serve return is just too high. That one was better. Every time your serve return is really good, you have an opportunity to loop first, and most of the time when you loop first, you're winning the point. Um, uh, looks like this is the last point. And yeah, just a wild shot. That's the last point of the game. So, yeah, overall, a um, lot of good. Um, your serves are really good. You, you should be using that backhand serve more. Um, I don't know how many times you used it, but the one I saw was really, really good. Um, yeah, make sure you're staying close, um, not cheating your forehand too much unless you know you've got the footwork to cover it. Make sure you're recognizing where your opponent's going earlier. You should be knowing where the ball's going to go um, before it comes off of their paddle, not as it's crossing the net coming to you because then you're always going to be late um, and guessing, which is not the way you want to play. Um, careful not to drag your back end to the forehand side. Um, and careful to avoid the middle of the table on any of your shots. Um, but yeah, overall, not bad. Um, I remember I um, saw you play in the tournament in Ohio. And I can already tell you're a lot better now than you were then. So you're improving fast. Uh, so keep working hard. And yeah, um, you should see a lot of good things to come in the future. That's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys next time. Adios.